In this video, we will look further at testing and why it is important. When we test a program, we are assessing the functionality of the program. We do this so we can be confident our program does what we intend it to do. Let's consider an example where we have a program that when given a number, will add one to that number. If this program was run with an input value of two, then we would expect an output of three. If we received a different output, then we know it is not working as intended. Testing refers to ensuring that the program behaves how we expect it to given a specific set of inputs or conditions. These inputs together with the expected outputs are called test cases. When testing, we want to expose the program to as many test cases as possible to comprehensively test all possible pathways through our program. If a test case for a given input or condition behaves as expected and the program output matches the expected output, we say the test case has passed. Otherwise, the test case has failed. For our example problem, a test case would be, given the input is the number two, then our expected output is the number three. If we then run our program with an input value of two and the program gives a result of three, then we know our test case has passed. If the program produces as output a value that is not three, then we know our test case has failed and that there is a problem with our program. The more test cases that we define in our testing process, the more confident we can be that our program behaves as expected. But how many test cases is enough? Similarly, how many is too many? In our example, if we know that an input of two gives an output of three, then we can be fairly confident an input of three is going to generate an output of four. These test cases are testing similar functionality. While it is good to have several test cases that test the same functionality, it would not be practical or sensible for us to test every possible input number. What we want to do is to define only as many test cases that are needed to cover the possible values of the program's input. For our example, this means we only have to test a few positive numbers, the number zero, and then a few negative numbers. If we do, then we will have confidence to say that our program is working as we expect it to. Processing is a visual language, and often we are generating images or data visualizations. How do we test our images? In some ways, this is not so simple in that it is difficult to write automated test cases. However, we can see ourselves whether the image that we intended to produce is what we actually generated. One method we can use to test our images or data visualizations is to simply run our program and to critically observe the generated image that it matches our expectations. We would want to check that all of the required shapes are drawn and that they are drawn in the correct location and with the correct attributes. One good approach to doing this is to create a sketch of your intended output before you code so that you can compare this against the generated image.